just wanted to introduce you all to my friend Buffy. <laughs> That's one way to win a crowd back. <laughs> Big man, little dog. It's always cute. Fun fact, this Hello, Quan Long, are you okay? Beautiful. My name's Mark, I'm 45, I live on a boat. Certain things that happen when you live on a boat don't happen to you on dry land. The other day I was having a cup of coffee outside, my cat was on the roof. I look down on my foot, I've got a big gash. I'm like, have I done that? Four days later, I had a shower, sweet chili sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, size, you know, when I first got a boat, people said to me, you know, get a wide beam, get a 65 footer. I had long game, I got a 40 footer. Because it worked out quite early that the smaller the boat, the bigger everything else looks inside. <laughs> It's a very dangerous game though, you know? Miniature cups, miniature sauces, miniature tables, miniature chairs. It does work the other way though. 60 kilos becomes 70 kilos. 70 becomes 80, 80 becomes 90. I love curves though, so it's okay. I've also got a claustrophobia kink. I like being stuck in tight spaces. But it is a tight space on the boat being 40 foot, you know? I've got a cat. Private time was an issue, you know? I thought we had a system. She has her private time on the sofa. I have my private time on my bed. The day I was finishing my private time on the bed, the cat was just there the whole time. I was like, tell me what you're doing. How would you like it if I sat on the sofa while you were doing private time? Just licked her hind leg and started licking. <laughs> to be fair though, if someone had said to me in my 30s how much ass I would have licked in my 40s, I would have not have believed it. <laughs> We all like getting our ass licked. No? <laughs> Liars! If you don't, you haven't. And when you have, you will. <laughs> um, so yeah, we should, um, we should probably talk about the toilet. But before we do that, actually, uh, I, a man of my generation, I'm 45. I thought that my generation as guys in the early 90s, we were the first generation to be expected to go down there, you know? No idea what we were doing. Just trying to listen for the right noises. Or well, hopefully we meet a confident woman called Jean from Newt of the Willows, who told us to slow down and that power showers could do two things. Yeah. <laughs> But we should talk about the toilet too. I've got a pump out system which basically means whatever I put in, somebody else pumps out. Who was used to hate it when I first moved onto the boat so my friends would go, what's the toilet situation? They do that face, that they're disgusted. <laughs> I know where my shit goes, you know, into a marina in a septic tank. I read an article the other day, 72 billion litres of sewage has been released by Thames Water in two years into the waterways. I thought I was a boater. They've turned me into a floater. <laughs> Fuck you, Thames Water. Um, I've got to tell you about Poo Boat Mike. Poo Boat Mike is what it says on the tin. He calls himself Poo Boat Mike. He comes along and pumps a poo out of my boat. First day I moved on to the boat, I was very stressed out. My stepdad was there, my mum was there. Poo Boat Mike turns up with a big fat spliff. My stepdad, without saying anything else, just goes, he on me, give him a bit of that, you know what I mean? He needs it. What was I gonna do? Poo boat Mike, with his poo boat hands, and his poo boat fingers, and the poo boat joint. Good shit, actually. <laughs> so, uh, I started pooing in bags when my first cat died. It wasn't a depression thing. My toilet was full, I had to wait two weeks before you know, I could get pumped out. He didn't come back, he wasn't a floater. But the thing is, pooing in bags, the worst thing about pooing in bags is pooing in poo bags. Who designed them? Way too small, can't get my legs through the handles. <laughs> Ridiculous. But the worst thing about pooing in poo bags isn't pooing in poo bags, it's getting rid of the poo bags you pooed into. <laughs> I've got a system, I bought a dog lead. I would just walk down the canal confidently with the poo bag going, Adonis! Adonis! 
I can see another dog walker and just go, fortune to feed. <laughs> and I'm going to end on some biscuit jokes very quickly. I only wrote these the other day. Um, what biscuit likes opera? Figaro! <laughs> I always forget the second one. Oh no, I've got it right. What biscuit can't stand still? Like him. A faffa cake. What biscuit likes sex on its period? A jammy roger. And finally, what biscuits are a bit gassy? Farty rings. I've been Marley Eason, Tiny Boatman. Thank you very much, brother. See you later. Oh,